I'm back with another press on video and this time I went to Five Below. Some of y'all were suggesting that I go check them out and I was surprised. I didn't know they sold all that nail stuff. So. Today, we're gonna be trying out these nail tips from Five Below. It was a $5 holla. <laughs> um, and I really like this croc design. Now, I must say that the nail tips there are, they have so many, but most of them were really, really short and I have long nail beds. So like some of those short almond ones and stuff like that, they just don't fit. So I had to go with a longer nail because I had to compensate for my long nail beds. I really like this croc design. I haven't seen this like anywhere, so let's try it out. Um, so it comes in this hard case here. And uh, how you open this? Okay, it's tape. It's tape on here. <laughs> Get our scissors out. Let's see if I can open these up without breaking my nails. <laughs> oh, the tape wrap all around the box. This is reminding me of like the old school cassette tapes. <laughs> this plastic here. This is just opening it. Why is it so hard? Okay. We got it. <laughs> right, so we got those tips, nail glue, and more tips. But yeah, I do, I do like this hard case though. Let's see, this says easy pink nail glue. This is just if I want to know all the ingredients and all that stuff. All right, so when you pop this off, it got the little little nib here to twist off and we don't have to stab our glue with anything. Yep, that is open. <laughs> all right, so for the meantime, I probably should have waited to open this, but it's gonna be quick anyway. So I need to, oh, yes. <laughs> I was so nervous. I'm like, oh my God, please let these nails fit. So yeah, that one fits. I can't see the number. I think it's a one, but that fits, so yes. So we have all of our sizes picked out and now I'm just gonna do a little bit of nail prep. I've already taken off my previous press on, so we're just going to do a little buffing. I also probably need to clip these too. Go ahead and trim these nails a little bit. I am sick y'all, but I must press a fear. <laughs> so this press on set didn't come with any files or anything, just the nails and the glue, you know, the basics. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little file and just file down my free edge a little bit. And I'm just gonna take the uh, 180 side of the file and just slightly take the shine away. So far I've been having pretty good luck with my press ons lasting for a week. Um, so hopefully, you know, this will last as well, but they are really hard to take off. Like mine won't pop off. <laughs> All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and glue on the nail tips. Easy enough, right? Oh, I forgot to check to see if this had any instructions on it. Oh, and it does. <laughs> Look at the back of the box and see if they say any special instructions. Apply generous amount underneath nail, da, da, da. They get real in depth about it. It says, use the cuticle area as a pivot point and gently lower on the natural nail. Do not press down. Okay, they giving y'all some good tips for this one. I'm sorry, y'all, I need to blow my nose. <laughs> I am so sorry, y'all. I don't know what's happened, but uh, my allergies. <laughs> and we have our hand sanitizer. Even though it's just me, but I don't want to spread my germs around either. Make it dry. <laughs> so now we're going to glue on the nail tips. Where's my glue? Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going ahead and, oh, somebody suggested I glue a penny down. I think I'm going to do that. I got to find a penny though. <laughs> I don't know if y'all like me, but I don't carry cash or anything. Like I do everything. I swipe my car all the time. So 
I don't have any change. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna start like I normally do with the pinky. And I just want to make sure that this lines up. Ooh. For this to be a simple design, oh, I feel like something is on my mouth. And it was. Okay. For this to be such a simple design, it is so cute. I've been wanting to try the croc nails, but now I get to do it with press-ons. Okay, I see this glue reminds me of the kiss glue. So I already know this ain't coming off. <laughs> and I'm gonna place it like so and press down. So a good thing about these is that you won't be able to see if you have any air bubbles in your nails. <laughs> the dreaded air bubbles. But yeah, it feels like it has a good suction. It feels, I wouldn't say tight, but it does feel snug on the nail. And it looks cute. Man, like the press on game is just something else now. Like I had no idea. I'm having so much fun with these press ons. Yeah, this glue is definitely thicker than the McCart glue that I tried last time. Oh, but I love this length. This is like short for me. So, I mean, come on y'all. Y'all see how long Bubbles is. <laughs> you do have to kind of squeeze it. It's, it doesn't just flow out. It's thick. I also like that I didn't have to file or anything around the cuticle areas for these nails because they're rounded around the cuticle. So I didn't have to do too much. Well, I didn't have to do anything. Okay, I'm trying to get through putting the rest of these press ons before I have to blow my nose again. Look at that, it lines up with the cuticle just perfectly. And just like that, we are done. Aren't these cute? Yes. <laughs> okay, I gotta blow my nose again. All right, more hand sanitizer. <laughs> but yeah, these are really cute and simple, but effective. <laughs> All right, so I'll be keeping these on for a week and we're gonna test out how long they stay on and how they wear. All right, so this is day two and the nails feel sturdy still. They look real cute, you know, I like them. So yeah, they're hanging on. And so we're gonna keep seeing what's gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're on our way to Starbucks. Oh, that looks good. It's like lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> like, really All right, so I just got back from Starbucks and not too long after getting home, look what happened. Yeah, this nail popped off. So here is the nail and yeah, it popped off. I guess the glue is not that strong in this one. I'm actually happy it popped off. That means the rest of them won't be too hard to get off. But we are only on day two. And because I don't want my nails looking crazy, I haven't even taken pictures of these nails yet. I gotta glue this back on, so. Yeah, we just gonna glue this baby back on. I got stuff to do. <laughs> oh, y'all, I know my voice sound crazy. I am still sick. So we just gonna file the glue off. Let's squeeze a little more glue on here. All right, and just pop that back on. You know, hold that down and just like that like it never happened <laughs> my groceries were just delivered hey mj <laughs> Um, all right, so this is day five, and ever since I glued this one nail on, it hasn't popped off or anything like that, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, but the nails do feel a bit thin, maybe a bit flimsy, but I think because they're so short, it really doesn't matter. So other than that one nail popping off, um, everything else has been smooth sailing, so I'm happy. All right, so we made it to day seven, and the nails are still holding on. There are some spots that lifted up a little bit, like I got like that and on that side. <laughs> yeah, they're all starting to kind of 
want to pop off. <laughs> but other than that, um, I'm actually happy about that because like I was telling y'all, some of these press ons with glue are so hard to get off that you can't reuse them. Like I've been wanting to reuse my press ons, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I do like the $5 press-ons from Five Below. So I'm definitely going to be checking them out and seeing what other styles they have. So if you guys enjoyed this press-on nail video, check out another one right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.